one of the popular questions is how do we make hangers for our acrylic substrates that we get that have various sizes through here um, and what's the go with that how can we do that easily so in a in a past uh, moment of passion I used to make <laughs> jewelry so now I'm thinking I'll just think about these in terms of giant earrings for elephants so I've got my 12 gauge here I'm going to cut off a generous amount uh, so I can get um, all the wrappings that I want to get to make a very snazzy hanger so I just cut that off with my trusty little nippers and then we have one of these about this long so what I'm going to do up the top here is wrap it around the end of my pliers to make a nice little hook here so we just wrap that like that and of course we need to be able to then hold this in place so we can use this flat part of these um, pliers which is supposed to be able to do three things little tiny wraps or curly cues here which I use for stamens and butterflies a cutter which is pretty much useless but what's important for this one is this flat bit because you can turn and grip your um, loop so I'm going to have this coming down here before I arrange the loop and holding it firmly you can then just wrap this long tail in a lovely spiral down there. Don't worry about it bending all over the place just yet. So three wraps. I used to always do three wraps on my earrings. Um, and of course, it, I could have had a little bit more there to make it easy for me. But I can use the end of the pliers to bring it around. But also the flat bit to squash that end bit in. Then you can bring all these pieces together so there's no gaps. Straighten up your hook and not squash this in just a little bit further. More challenging on a 12 gauge wire even though it is soft but I do want to get that further in. Excellent. So that's the first Same bit direction as the substrate. So I wouldn't be doing it this way because of the way I want to hang it. So I could, I prefer to hook it in that direction. So then we can just do the a similar arrangement in terms we. I think I might bend it to give it a helping hand because I don't want it to be probably longer than that. There, no, we'll make it. I will make it a bit longer and make a bend so you can bend it quite easily there and then thread it through so you've got it where you want it to be. Then squish it up, and this one's going to be much easier to wrap. So I'm bending it in that direction because I've left enough of a tail. This one was too short, so now I can just bend it like that. Let's see if I can. Um, hold it up and do it with one hand oh I can <laughs> so there we go we just wrap that around and you can see it would be much easier if I didn't have to video this at the same time and you can have this as long or as short as you want um, this gap if you've got a hole down here allows for that so you can just um, I think the posh word is bespoke a hanger <laughs> of your choice and then we can just scooch that I might just chop that bit off because there's plenty there to hold it and then flatten it with the flat part of these wires so yes now you can go and make yourself earrings and you can make earrings for an elephant So that's got that all nice and slim in there so it's up to you how you want to, to do it and then once it's done you just turn this in the direction you need it to be and there we have the perfect hanger now I can go and hang it and take a photo of this so you can see what I've done <laughs>